So let's talk about what is the function of this weapon and what type of difference it is going to bring to the team and the gameplay. First of all, as a weapon, this is going to increase physical attack of a single ally. That means buffing any one of the teammates has some uh, high potentials also. And also there is a magic healing potentially. That means at the same time, this weapon is going to buff the uh, teammate and also ally, uh, heal the teammate, teammate a little bit because the heal percentage is kind of low. And if you uh, go to this stage, which is kind of expensive, still the percentage is kind of low. But at the same time, you, sh you must understand that she is buffing and healing at the same time. So this is very good, guys. And also, she is going to buff herself. Physical attack increased, uh, range self. So three things she is doing, if you cast this weapon, she is going to buff herself, she is going to buff the ally, she is going to heal the ally. One single target. Very good. And in the special material section, that is uh, attack boost, physical attack boost, and physical attack boost. Solid attack. Now, of course, let's talk about the R abilities. Boost physical attack is simple, nothing to explain, but with this thing, buff debuff extension. What the hell is this? This is basically going to increase the buff debuff extension. That means any debuff and buff in the game that has been applied to the enemy has a certain duration, usually 20 seconds or the extension with 30 seconds. That duration is going to be extended by this effect. And what are those buffs? Or debuffs stats what are the stats that means these are the stats HP physical attack magical attack physical defense magical defense heal all of these stats if anyone is applying these stats buff or stat debuff she is going to increase the duration she is not going to apply those debuffs or buffs by herself of course she can apply her physical attack buff that's something different but we're talking about this overall effect. In this overall effect, she's going to just increase the duration. Any sort of potential. That means whatever potential we have in the game. Boost physical attack, uh, ability potential. Boost fire potential. Boost ice potential. Uh, or boost lightning potential. Any boost potential duration is going to be increased. Not she is going to, she is not going to apply those potentials at all. She doesn't have it. She's just going to increase the duration. Next comes resistance. Any sort of resistance that has been applied as a debuff or a buff. That means, let's just say you have applied a, a fire resist duration to the enemy. That means you are probably using a certain material to do this or maybe you are using characters like the new Sephiroth to reduce the fire resist of the enemy so your damage dealer cloud or anyone any fire damage dealer can do high amount of damage now that uh, fire resist duration that debuff has a certain duration and that damn duration is going to be increased by this effect and if you go all the way if you give get up to level 7 and get the 55 percent this is basically going to if, uh, increase the effect to 200%. That is basically doubling up the duration. That means if you are currently enjoying a 20 second duration, that will be freaking 40 seconds. And 40 seconds from here, here that means double 200%. And also from her garb. A huge, huge amount of this duration of buff and debuff so what does this whole thing mean and where she is standing in our team right now how to compose a team with her first of all you need to have her in the team as a very unique position beside that you will need a damage dealer that can be any damage dealer physical damage dealer or magic damage dealer but because of her weapons effect you would like to have a physical damage dealer because her main thing is going to increase the physical damage deal dealing ability of a physical attacker so ideally for example let's just say the new cloud the burn cloud the fire cloud i mean the sky speeder cloud that cloud can be a good 
companion to her or teammate or any cloud that has a physical ability physical damage dealing ability or any character that has basically physical abilities physical damage dealing abilities now what is going to be the other team member the other team member has to be a debuffer not a healer but rather a debuffer or you can combine that member as a healer or a debuffer because the healing that she is going to offer from this weapon probably is not enough not even enough for a single ally because this percentage is really low and if you if you go like for example if you go really high like this level then the healing 13% even at this freaking level the healing is 13% so you would like to have a dedicated healer as well for example let's just say Aerith for uh, for example Aerith Aerith can be used as a healer but that healer has to have some debuffing ability or buffing ability because she is not going to be able to create those unique debuffs that's like physical ability potential or those sort of things or uh, many debuffs she cannot create but she can extend their duration so you need to have a debuffer in the team a debuffer come healer a damage dealer and you feel herself this should be the team now in the material section guys you need to change certain stuffs for example you need to uh, probably have to have materials like let me just quickly show you if we go to the shop sorry 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 not to the shop let me just quickly show you by going to the shop exchange shop uh, metal exchange shop crisis metal exchange shop and these sort of materials guys these materials are going to uh, f uh, do this fire resist decreasal and look at this the potentiality is low duration is 16 seconds this damn thing is going to be doubled it is going to be now 32 seconds if you apply uh, Yuffie and her abilities this is the damn thing that's gonna happen so you should use this sort of materials this one is for lightning all, all these breeze materials I mean and no no not this one sorry I mean this one B ice breach this sort of materials and the characters let's talk, uh, talk about a little bit about characters the characters are all already available and you would really like to use a character like Sephiroth. Sephiroth is going to be highly highly important because this uh, physical defense decrease this uh, fire resist decrease from the weapon and from the garb this fire mastery fire ability damage all of these effects you would like to have in your team to maximize the use of uh, Yuffie also you would like to probably uh, use let's just say Aerith let's talk about a little bit of Aerith solo party if you use Aerith that can be a great great option this sort of weapons for Aerith, Sun Umbrella, this is going to offer a bunch of debuffs and also there will be healing. And also you would like to use some healing materia, for example like this, I think this is a healing materia. Magic healing card, potentially 46%. This is a good percentage of healing, healing. That is good enough. Also on top of that, Yuffie is going to support highly with the heal. So this should be or this can be your team combination. Now let's briefly talk about the weapon for Glenn. It is totally unfortunate that Glenn is still not having a, another costume uh, or, or another really good garb that we can talk about. But this weapon itself is really good. 520% physical non-element damage. If you upgrade this weapon to level 90, the percentage remains same. But if you upgrade this much, you'll see the percentage really grows up. But we'll stay on the level 90 for our discussion. And it is going to apply some critical rate as well. 
but most important thing is going to be the R abilities boost attack boost physical ability potential guys this is going to be highly important for any physical damage dealer like cloud there is a multiple combinations but this is a good weapon and spec materia attack physical attack boost and sigil boost this sigil boost is uh, added to this uh, weapon that the same sigil boost that we can see in the booster sword hello everyone this is ron and welcome back to another final fantasy 7 ever crisis video i had to cut this crap because yuffie is so important to the game and i couldn't stop myself starting talking about it now let's uh, briefly talk about some other things that are happening in the game for example they have released a bunch of notices and basically they added new dungeons that is going to be this uh, mithril mine so we need to farm here that's simple and they have released this new story that is chapter 5 new glorious story that means uh, a lot of lot of blue, blue crystals and you need you can also get to know you feel a little bit more they have also added this sephiroth reawakened critical threat we'll talk about it in some other videos because this is going to be a thing itself you need to play co-op and some other stuff there are some rewards in terms of design of this garb what should i say guys i think the developers have absolutely nailed it i mean look at her cute face look at her nice uh, wintry costume the jacket the muffler her little weapon box i think where she keeps her material and stuff her torso i think it's made of leather this is totally leather look at the boots guys this is so cute this is so cute and so much detail guys absolutely stunning absolutely stunning what should i say guys cuteness just overloaded there is certain thing that i need to talk about there's going to be there is a, a, a paid draw for yuffie there is going to be five star weapon guarantee and you need to have 2000 of these red gems you cannot do it with blue gems now couple of things that i want to talk about that if you are uh, willing to uh, summon in this banner pull in this banner you must know that the featured weapon that is her main weapon that is arctic star this weapon is not available in this banner as we, you can see there is no uh, available uh, availability of that particular weapon so you will not get that and on top of that another thing is if you go to featured and if you go to your wish list let me show you that you can actually get all those weapons from this banner as well but of course you would like to prioritize the main weapon but another any of these weapons or many of them you can add to your wish list while pulling so that can be a, a good idea that if you are not willing to pull i think if you need to pull only if you are willing to support the game that should be the only reason to pull in this banner and if you are willing to do that then let me show you the package that you need to buy uh, let me take you to the specials and they kind of release this package weekly pack uh, epic pack one that is only 14.99 us dollar i think it is a little bit more in euro this is a good package that you can buy this will give you straight away 2400 of this crystal that is already good enough to do the pool so thank you for watching guys don't forget to support the content and support the channel and i hope to see you guys soon in some other videos till then stay awesome and peace out my friends